Seeing none come forward, I'll call a close to the public comment portion and head down for some mm -hmm. proclamation. <clears throat> Two proclamations are a, a good uh, time to really look at how we're bringing people back into Madeira and down to our downtown. Um, these are, one of them is in its relative infancy and the other has been a, a long time Madeira tradition. So uh, we want to recognize both of them as uh, important parts to our city and, and how we build and grow as a community. Uh, the first one is our pomegranate celebration. Jared Lyman, if you'd like to come down, please. Everyone can look forward to seeing uh, Jared and I in a, uh, uh, hopefully a viral video soon. We're hoping it goes viral. It should go viral. <laughs> With our talents, there's no doubt it won't. Star, It'll... star ability right here. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, I'll, I'll just read the proclamation real quick. and. Whereas the Tourism Alliance Committee of the Madera Chamber is comprised of a dedicated group of individuals countywide devoted to enhancing the economic climate of Madera through the promotion of its many tourism attractions and its thriving agricultural industry. And whereas November has been declared as National Pomegranate Month in the United States of America, and whereas Madera is the heart of pomegranate country as so many pomegranates are grown here and come here for processing, and whereas the Tourism Alliance of the Madeira Chamber of Commerce is celebrating Madeira's connection with it, this heart-healthy fruit with numerous events during the second annual Pomegranate Celebration Week, October 27th through November 3rd, and whereas that week will culminate in the second annual Pomegranate Festival at the Madeira Municipal Airport on Saturday, November 3rd, 2012. Now therefore, be it resolved, on Wednesday, September 19th, 2012, the City Council of the City of Madeira proclaims October 27th through November 3rd as Madeira Pomegranate Celebration Week. Thank you. Sure. Go on. Um, th thank you for that, uh, Mayor Council. Um, I first off, I need to thank Mary Ancy from the Parks Department for all your help on this. Um, and thanks again to uh, the Council for granting me the time to promote this event. Um, I think you saw it last year that it was very well received, um, the week-long celebration and the festival. We were thinking first year event, if we can get 500 people there, we'll be doing good. And I think the count had it about 1,500 people that showed up. And not just local people, but people from out of town, really putting Madeira on the map. And that's the point of this event, is to get people to understand that Madeira has something going for it. We are an attraction here. Um, you think of things like Gilroy, you think garlic, and, and uh, other places like that. We want people, when they think pomegranates, which are getting even increasingly popular, to think of Madeira. So that's what the whole idea of this uh, week-long celebration and then the festival is. We've got a lot of events, um, di special dinners going on. We've got some new events, a golf tournament out at the Municipal Golf Course to kick things off, the 5K out at um, Homegrown Cellars. We've got a softball tournament that's going to be bringing in a lot of teams from out of town. So we're going to get some uh, heads and beds, get some new uh, revenue new to the town and of course the festival out of the uh, Madeira Municipal Airport. Thank you for the city and staff for accommodating us on multiple levels on that one. Last minute uh, venue change. But uh, we're really excited. The second year event looks like it's going to be uh, even bigger than before and we invite everybody to come out to the enjoy the week long celebration and the festival. Find us pomegranatefestival.com. Thank you. Thank you now look forward to the uh, video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh. And if you can take these back up to the council, we have gifts for all the council, these uh, little reminder, the pomegranate stress relievers, because I know your jobs are stressful. So, I mean, his is already worn out yeah. just in the two seconds. So, but uh, thank you again. Thank you. I can already feel my heart getting healthier. <laughs> and you might be able to uh, twist some arms up here to play in that golf tournament. Um, the next one is one that, uh, I've been going to since I was a kid, uh, watching all the, the floats come down uh, Main Street. And it's always just a great celebration when you see people on both sides, uh, cars lined up, and uh, it's just fantastic to bring people back down and home in a little uh, area where everyone can um, sit and just come together as a community. I've got my badge so that no one uh, takes me to jail next week, at least, you know, if <laughs> 
for that reason. For that reason. For that reason. <laughs> um, but uh, if I can have Cheryl Berry uh, from the Missouri Historical Society come down. And I'll read this proclamation as well. Whereas the 81st anniversary, I wasn't at the first one. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong point was at the first one. Whereas the 81st anniversary of Old Timers Day will be celebrated in Madeira on Saturday, September 29, 2012, and whereas it has long been the tradition to honor citizens who have been residents of the city or county of 50 years or more with week-long activities, a parade down Yosemite Avenue and a community-wide Day in the Park celebration on Saturday. And whereas it is fitting to recognize the contributions made by Madera's old-timers in the creation and development of the city and county of Madera. Now therefore, I, Brett Frazier, Mayor of the City of Madera, do hereby proclaim September 25th, <laughs> the 29th, 2012, to be Old Timers Week in Madera and take great pleasure in honoring the old timers of our city and county and conveying our sincere gratitude and appreciation for their dedicated efforts and contributions in helping to shape our local history. Thank you. Um, I'd like to welcome all of you to come to the museum and see it. Uh, we just are hopefully going to get all the windows back in place before next Saturday, we hope, or that Saturday. And um, we'd like to have, love to have you come visit us anytime. We're welcome to have support any meetings or anything you may have. So we look forward to Old Timers Day. So thank you very much. <laughs>